All right, so you ever wanted to max out your Prusa MK3, and you thought, like, well, what should I do here? Well, here's what I did. We've got the LDO Bear 2.1 full upgrade frame kit, this 8020 extrusion. It's pretty sweet. Makes this sucker solid. If you're like, man, is that even a Prusa anymore? Yeah, I get that a lot. And then also, the uh, original hot end wasn't that great, so updated to a E3D... Primera hot end and put a 5015 blower on this thing. That thing is nice now. Trying to figure out all that we could really push this thing to do. So, got the basic upgrades, better hot end, better uh, frame system. Then we tried to run it faster and faster and faster, right? Because that's the big thing nowadays is speed. So, the original Einzi Rambo board was loud and it just couldn't hit the numbers we were looking for. So, I got the cover off right now. But this is an SKR Mini E3 V3 board, and you can see these uh, these adapters here. They are going from the old style to the new style right there, and that's printed solid. Sells those for like eight bucks for a whole kit of them. That's way better than having to crimp all this trash. So definitely a good buy on that. So got this board, got everything hooked up. Still got senseless homing on there. Uh, but then wanted to run Clipper to really push this thing to see how far it could go. And when we were pushing it, we found some found some issues. Like the original Prusa motors. They're 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 fine, you know, whatever. They just run a little hot, and when they get hot, they start losing their X steps. Or at least I did. This X cube turned into an italics K cube pretty quick. And found the uh the limit of my acceleration on this thing. So I had to update the uh the motors to some newer uh, nicer ones and then <clears throat> and then had to dial everything in so right now this sucker is is quiet and it can run fast uh, still the uh, the limit's still about 3,000 acceleration but it's still running up to you know 150 200 uh, millimeters a second and just slamming these things out so this thing is probably the extent of what you could do without really upgrading a lot more stuff to it. But I'm happy with it. It does what I need to do. It's an awesome machine.